are one of the cases that we can avoid the experience and that is what we call inflation what is inflation in simple word it's basically the fine increase in prices of goods and services inflation is one of the basic economic problems that we're still encountering today they said that inflation is one of the problems that we can prevent as the day goes by you can see on the news that every goods and services has increased their prices especially the basic needs that we need in our everyday life like meat, vegetable, rice, and so on. Knowing how inflation affects us before was already a big problem to all of the consumers. What about now that pandemic strikes? That most of us are unemployed while most of the goods and services are still increasing their price. Thinking of that situation makes us stress more. Now, let's get straight to the facts about inflation due to COVID-19. The pandemic and lockdown started in our country, many businesses are forced to close their businesses, which makes most of the Filipinos unemployed. Knowing that they're unemployed, the inflation is still continuing and that makes the life of some Filipinos worse. You can observe it especially in food production. Since the start of the pandemic, food prices have risen consistently due to many reasons brought by the pandemic like restrictions of transportation of supply. Another thing was also the prices of fuel which is still increasing week by week or even day by day. That's why the head of the Philippine Central Bank told the BBC on an interview that inflation will be a bigger threat to economies next year than COVID-19. What are the goods whose prices increased during the time of COVID-19? The COVID-19 pandemic led noticeable shifts in domestic producer prices, most particularly in the healthcare and medical field and the food sector. Some price increased products that are health and medical related are face masks with an increase of 319% in bulk, face shields with an increase of 2.4%, antibiotics, price increase of 5.8%. Cosmetical products, nutra-cosmetical products, rubbing alcohol and disinfectant wipes, sprays, and sanitizers. Produced by local and international brands such as Green Cross, Celetech, Idelai, Lorox, etc. 
these are some of the products that went through a high demand rate and a slow supply rate, which affected the normal chain of supply and demand of producers and consumers. Furthermore, into the products that went through an increasing retail and wholesale price are the goods in the food sector, mainly rice, vegetables, fruits, meats, canned goods, and others such as soft drinks, chips, snacks, and other frozen goods. pandemic has led to a significant increase in unemployment and increase of prices of services such as food sectors, health care, and also in transportation. Due to lockdown restrictions, many of the suppliers have decided to increase the prices of their service because of the delays that they're experiencing and also the adverse effects of climate change and virus pest infestations are also contributing to increased prices of meat, fruits, and other basic food items. Next is healthcare. Because of the hospital bills that most of us can't afford, especially in this time of pandemic that everyone are prone to this virus, medical cost inflation in our country was monitored and concluded that it will rise up to 10.1% in 2020, while 9.3% only in 2019. Lastly, very increase in transportation, especially in this time of the pandemic, is one of the problems of the commuters. Many of the operators and drivers claim that because of the oil price hike, that's why they need to increase their fare too. In the light of that situation, DOTR is looking at the another round of financial assistance to help PUV drivers and operators cope up with higher fuel prices for the sake of the increasing fare. about these prices increases. Due to the deadly virus that spread across the world, there have been different responses and reactions from the people. An inflation in an economy is different from one's true inflation rate, because we all procure different goods and services. Another factor that differs the reactions of people in price increase is one's purchasing power. To simply put it, purchasing power is the financial ability to buy products and services. Producers were left with no choice but to put a markup on their goods for the reasoning of inflationary pressures and the significant increase of 18% in raw materials. People justify the price increase by understanding that we are currently in a different situation where everyone is climbing on rocks just to get by the daily expenses in life. What has the government done in order to fight inflation during COVID-19? The government establishes a price ceiling as well as a limit on the number of goods that an individual can purchase, ensuring that everyone has the opportunity to purchase or obtain these goods. People are only allowed that same number of bottles or gallons of alcohol and sanitizers, as well as basic commodities such as canned goods and noodles. They have set limits on the number of people who can enter the market and the amount of goods they can buy. A country recovers from high inflation by demanding that its central bank stop increasing the money supply faster than economic growth, which is what screws up one of the key properties or functions of money, a unit of account. Everything else will work itself after it actually happens. The actual value of goods, services, assets will become apparent, and thus, the actual wealth of the country. After that, it's time for the country to live within its means and pay down its debts by producing and selling valuable goods and services to itself and others. You know, working. Unfortunately, since high inflation usually happens at the behest of lying, politicians, political upheaval usually follows. The government is changed when the people discover just how badly they did lie to. My reaction to this issue is that we the Filipinos are having a hard time doing the things that we do in these past few years. Like buying the things that we need, that we eat, and what we always do before the pandemic even started. 
we are struggling to develop ourselves in the economy but we are not the only ones who are having a hard time but also in other countries we suffered enough with this virus but we can rise up again if the people are helping each other and following the laws of the government then this inflation will not be a problem for us anymore <laughs>